Okay, uh, today I have something pretty cool for you. Uh, it's an old Barrister bookcase. Uh, we just picked up a little while ago. It's been in the garage until we got the space cleared out. Um, yeah, it's, it's an old Barrister bookcase. We got it from a church, uh, a little town of uh, Manistee on the way, a uh, Catholic church. They were cleaning out some of their old uh, buildings and they had one of these for sale, so we went down and bought it. Um, I said, there's no manufacturer on it. Um, I do not know like who made it or when. I'm guessing probably late 1800s. Um, again, I'm not positive. Probably late 1800s, early 1900s. That's when most of these were around. Um, could be a little earlier, but I don't think so. But anyway, uh, if you're not super familiar with a Barrister bookcase, um, the main thing about them is that these have glass front panels that open. So as you can see here, this opens up, then it slides in on the top. So you can access your books or whatever, and then when you're done, you just pick it up and slide it back down. Just like so. And so like I said, it has four um, compartments. So you see down here, there's these are the ones on the bottom are a little bigger, a little wider. And on top, they're a little skinnier. And like I said, and then the thing about these is they do come into pieces too. So like the top part is one piece. This is one, this is one, and this is one, and then the bottom one, and then there's the actual like bottom foot. So all these are individually pieced. So you can take the whole thing apart, um, you know, and then put, if you want to do three, you can do three. If you want to do two, you can do two, however you want to do it. But this is a whole four piece set. Um, like I said, it's not in perfect condition. Um, like I said, it's, it's pretty good for its age. You could probably use some touch-ups. I'm not sure if you want to refinish it or not. Because uh, it it's kind of cool to see the age and, and a lot of our stuff, you know, is not flawless in uh, dining room here. And you can see it's, again, it needs a little work. Like it's missing a knob here I need to find and then one of those to put in. And, you know, again, it's got like some little dings and stuff throughout the years. But, you know, it's probably 100, 120, 130 years old. So it's going to get some work. But, yeah. I said, so this is from, uh, like I said, a Catholic church down in a town called Manistee. Like I said, we got it. Uh, like I said, they're cleaning out some stuff. And so we just put it in here and we're looking at uh, putting like this um, artwork up here. It's one of my favorites. I got this actually like a Salvation Army. I think the artist is like Martin Jackson. I think it's from like the 30s. You can see I like the little kids on there. I love that little school bus. Yeah, that's kind of a cool little art piece, but we thought it went well with this and hang it right above the wall there. But yeah, so it's just, like I said, just a Barrister bookcase. So we picked it up a few weeks ago, but we just got it um, out of the garage and just put it in the house. So it needs to be cleaned and it all touched up and we'll probably put some of the old vintage glassware and things in there. But as you see, it fits this space pretty nicely too. Like I said, we got kind of a odd wall here. They didn't have a lot of room. And this just fit perfectly. And I've wanted one for years. We had one when I was a kid. It's one of my favorite things. So, yeah. So, like I said, it's an unmarked, unknown barrister bookcase. Like I said, I'm guessing probably like 1880s, 1890s. I mean, I could be way off. Like I said, I'm not an expert on these, but it just kind of seems about right. So, anyway, it's a vintage barrister bookcase. Thanks. Bye.